Well, for us back in the valley, the issue is the wind, and there is another wind advisory for tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. for Hidalgo, Willisee, and Cameron counties. Winds will gust to over 40 miles per hour across much of the area again like what we saw today across the region. So count on another very windy day. These are the current wind gusts. Not so bad now. Westlaco reporting 22, Edinburgh reporting 18. Otherwise, things settling down just a little bit across the area. These are current temperatures. Everybody's in the upper 60s right now, 67 or 69. Pretty much valley wide under partly cloudy skies. Your dew point slowly coming up. It's back up to 60 now. So we're just kind of working our way up into the muggy category slowly but surely across the rest of South Texas, 59 in San Antonio, 68 tonight in Laredo. Houston checks in at 68 degrees and you go northward. It is cooling off in the panhandle 45. Well, it's 60 in both San Angelo and Dallas tonight. There's a front in the panhandle that's going to move northward. It's as close as it's going to get so we can say goodbye to that front. It's not going to get any closer than that. So windy conditions for us again tomorrow. Another front on the map tomorrow pushes southward into the northern part of Texas, but it has trouble making it all the way to our part of the state because there's a big upper air storm that's going to dig into the southwestern part of the U.S. and northwest Mexico. A little frontal trail out of that. Eventually, that whole thing will lift eastward. The front's going to wait for that to happen. So the front stays to the north, so we're still warm on Saturday. We're still warm on Sunday, and that looks like we'll probably still be warm on Monday. It's not until Tuesday that that front finally is able to push through. Could trigger a couple of showers. We'll turn slightly cooler, but the emphasis on the word slightly won't be in the 80s, probably in the 70s behind that front for the middle part of next week. Normal high, 70. We're going to be 85s. 83, 82, 84, kind of meander around up around that 83, 84 mark. And then Tuesday with that front, a little cooler at 75. Rain chances, not a very good chance. I think, you know, we haven't put anything in there for Friday yet. Some of the models hinting at a brief shower on Friday. So maybe a mainly dry would be appropriate. And then we ramp chances up a little bit by Tuesday of next week. Back home temperature, see what's going on in the rest of the country. Take a look up north. Finally, a little more mild, more seasonal in the upper uh, northeast, the upper Midwest. And back below zero again, Duluth and International Falls right at zero in Minot and two tonight in Bismarck. So there are some cold temperatures on the map, but not as cold as last week at this time. So tonight mainly clear, the breezy evening, the wind is beginning to finally die down low in the mid 60s. Then tomorrow windy again. Again, that wind advisory in effect 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. for Hidalgo, Willisey and Cameron counties. Southeast winds 15 to 30, gusting to over 40. Thursday's windy again. Friday still breezy. Can't rule out a brief shower on Friday. By Sunday, Monday, the chance of rain goes up a little bit, but even that you're looking at 10 to 20 percent. That weak front then due in late Monday into Tuesday triggers a couple of showers and high of only 75. That is your updated first one five forecast.